everyone! Today I want to share with you my design team project for Shabalicious and I will have all the links to Shabalicious in the description box below to the Zibit shop, the Facebook page and to Lily's YouTube channel and I'll also have a discount code for you and I will have it in the screen right here as well as in the description box below I also wanted to let you know that the shop will be closed for vacation I'm sorry for the glare and for my reflection <laughs> it will be closed from the 20th of June until the 15th of August so if you want to place your order please hurry up because uh, the shop will be closed on the 20th and um, I hope you will check out the link and take advantage of the discount code that I have for you in the description box so this is my last project for the summer break and I really had a lot of fun creating it I will show you the items from my design team package that I used on my project. Um, let me see. I used this beautiful white dainty lace. I didn't uh, create some flowers with it, but it's perfect to create flowers with as well. I also used this beautiful lace right here. It's in an off-white color. And I used this one right here with the embroidery. I absolutely love this white lace as well. I used this beautiful lace right here and I cut it apart and used the leaves or the branches with the leaves behind my flowers. I also used this beautiful lace right here. Let me give you a close up as well. And I used this one right here. This was from my haul that I did at Shabalicious. It's a cotton lace in an off-white color. And I also used the hand dyed seam binding. This is the only piece that I have left, but I absolutely loved working with it. Love the color as well. And I also used some of these do that bows and I took one out of the package to show you. Let me try it like this. Really cute, loved working with them as well. And I also used the Norwegian, the Gothic Norwegian book paper. I used quite a lot on my project this time. Love working with it as well. And last but not least, I used this beautiful napkin. Let me pull it back a little bit. Love the images. And I used four of these images on my projects. So um, I created my first ATCs. Um, they were on my to-do list for quite a while, but I never came around to do it. And when I uh, received these beautiful or this beautiful napkin in my design team package, I immediately knew that the the images were perfect size for ATC so I really wanted to create some and that's what I did. I also created a box for the ATCs to go in and I created these boxes out of vellum. I'm sorry it's quite a bright day today. And if you want me to show you how to create these boxes I will be more than happy to upload the tutorial. I have been drawing and sketching uh, to make my own template and this one is in centimeters and this one is in inches so let me know if you want a tutorial on the ATC boxes and I will be more more than happy to upload one so I created them out of vellum but of course you can use some paper or even some acetate and here's the beautiful seam binding from Lily's shop and on top I adhered the beautiful off-white lace and it has a little bit of sheen or shimmer on it and I created a bow out of the seam binding and behind here is the wide lace that I showed you. I created some rolled roses out of the book paper and I used some platinum stickles along the edges and I used some flat back pearls from my stash and inside the box is my ATC and I used some craft cardstock to create these ATCs and I covered it with gesso so I can write my uh, information or my message on the back side. And this is how 
the front side looks. And I covered the cardstock with the book paper. And in the background I have the white dainty lace that I showed you. Let me take it. It's this one right here. And it creates some really nice texture. And on top I used the beautiful white lace with the embroidery on it. And here's one of the images from the napkin. And I adhered it to um, cream colored cardstock. And I went along the edges with the platinum stickles. And here I have one of the doodad bows. I inked the edges with my Freight Burlap Distress Ink. And here's one of the flowers from Lily's shop. I wasn't able to show it to you because I used them all up. But I absolutely love these beautiful flowers. And here's one of the flower centers also from Lily's shop. And I've used them all up as well. So I tucked it behind the flower. And here's the beautiful lace with the leaves. And I cut a branch apart here and on this side as well. And I absolutely love how it turned out. And here's the cotton off-white lace that I showed you on the bottom of my ATC. So I think it came out quite nice. And I will show you the other three ones that I created as well. The box is the same. I used the same laces and embellishments. And I made four of them. But the images are different, of course. So here's the next image. Oops, I see a glue string. I'm sorry, I checked before I recorded my video, but <laughs> or I started recording my video. So the same lace on top and the same beautiful book paper with a different image. And I mod podged it on cream cardstock as well. And I pretty much did the same. This is a flower from my stash because I used two of the flowers from Lily's shop and they were my last ones. And this beautiful flower center is also from Lily's shop. So, and here's the next one. And I also used my punch to create this notch. And this is the third ATC. I absolutely love these images. Beautiful little angels. And, oops. <laughs> Here's my last one. I really enjoyed creating these rolled roses as well. It's been a while. And here's the fourth ATC with another beautiful image from the napkins. And another beautiful flower from Lily's shop. I absolutely love the pearlized or these pearlized stamens. So yeah, here are my four ATC cards and I really had a lot of fun creating my very first ATCs and I hope I will be able to create some more in the near future. I really hope you like my ATCs as well and I really hope you will check out the links below. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I will have some pictures at the end of this video and I hope you are all doing very well and having a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! <music>